All right, what I have in this pack is two quarter quads, a radio transmitter, and probably enough batteries to fly for an hour or more. So let's see what we got in here. So, I've got my battery packs here. A lot of batteries. Here's the mini quarter quad. This is a five inch model that fits in here. It folds out, it's a full FPV model. And, uh, pretty popular model but this is the model we're going to be testing today this is the six inch porta quad this is a fully autonomous capable quadcopter that can be programmed with a nexus tablet and sent on autonomous missions basically it fits into this waterproof pelican case pop it out the wings just fold out very quickly you can lock them with these wing nuts And then it's got the antenna for the FPV and an antenna for the 3DR radio. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll get a battery on there so the GPS satellites can start um, getting, getting a good GPS lock. Because this baby's going to fly on some autonomous missions today. I haven't tried it yet, but strictly with just the, um, with just using the Nexus tablet. I won't even need to use the translator. So here's the translator. All right, so as I mentioned, I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using the Nexus tablet today to do all my flying. I will use a translator just for safety in case it goes awry. So let's create a mission in Joy Planner. I go to Editor. Uh, it pops up. I want to delete these old points. Okay, I'm going to create my first point. I'll just uh, I'll just head out here. I'll make a point about here. And I want to adjust the height. I probably don't want to go 20 meters. I'll go. I'll go. Uh, it's a little bit windy today. I'll just go about nine meters high. Once I've created my first point, then I can actually just use the pen tool and we'll just make a path like that. And this last point, I might say, let's uh, do a waypoint. Let's actually land there. So that'll land right about here somewhere. All right, once I've created the mission, I need to send it to my quadcopter. Waypoint saved to drone. All right, so that's in there. As I say, I'm gonna use this uh, just to make sure and get manual control back. Can I take off these glasses and put them on too? Can you see anything out of those glasses right now? Yeah, kind yeah. of like every once in a while. Absolutely. Take them up and look for a while, then put them down. Yep. Um. All right, so I've just armed this part up. Okay, this is fine. Flying just in regular mode. Alright, and now I'm in. The wind's quite strong today. So it's blowing. Okay, so now it's in G GPS 3D lock. It should just hover there, but if I switch this switch here, it'll go into auto mode. So let's switch it into auto mode. Basically what it does now is it just does the plan I programmed it to do. Goes Going for waypoint two. Going for waypoint three. Going for waypoint four. Going for waypoint five.
Looks like some, uh, looks like an eagle just buzzed it. Yeah, eagle. that's awesome. So now it's coming back and it should come in and land right about here somewhere. So there's where I programmed it to land. I'm just going to switch it back into manual mode and fly it back over here. Load altitude hold. Mode stabilized. Alright, so that's the autonomous flight plan. 